Okay, you what time you saw the Ouija? I just took um, a picture of it. Mm-hmm. Not like I saw it a little bit before Dad had his vision. Is that right? Okay. So it started out with just the world being peeled away, which is then the world you mean the globe. Yeah. Oh, Earth. The Earth. Okay. World, world mm-hmm. being peeled away like an orange. So this is representing an orange. Okay. Kind of, and yeah. then, then there's two ways it goes. One way is the peels go down to, like demons or something. Oh wow! That are organizing like puzzle pieces mm. of the of the world oh, peels wow. into different things. Mm. That's, and that's self. Yep. What is this one? Pride. I'm sorry, Pride. I'm not good at spelling. It's okay. What is this one? Idols. Idols. Oh wow. And so different parts, and I was thinking for this part, mm. the puzzle pieces come different shapes and sizes, as in Noah's two visions. Ah, this was yes. before his visions that I. Yes, his two visions are see. something about uh, a s- right. go to the hole in the forest yeah. or a jungle, am I? So, Actually, yeah. there also was abysses. Oh, wow. So the two bleeds to here. Oh. Where all the things are going into three different abysses. Oh, abysses, okay. Ab- abysses. So okay. I saw it's kind of like it was mm. in space. Yeah. And the tube going through space, dropping the puzzle pieces into three p- abysses. Abysses. There wasn't very mm. much stars, and it was all dark, but the abysses made everything light compared to them. Mm. Okay, yeah. And then going this so it's way. A, it's basically thick darkness or piece of yeah. darkness, this space, yeah. okay. Then going this way, mm. there was. So this is one direction go down to the evil things, right? Yes. So, okay. And then one way goes to the emptying of self. Oh wow! And kind of like an orange squeezing. You get an orange the squeeze the juice. Okay, yeah. And then the orange is kind of like rock solid, like, like mm-hmm. how you get can a candy orange. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be hard. Yeah, yeah. Well, and this one is called. This part of the picture is called the cutting, where they're chiseling, where chi- they're, it's being chiseled away. So oh, yeah. Carefully, and the people who are yeah. inside the orange or are wounded by sin, mm. stuff like that. Yeah. So this, I had this, and it really just like well, um, towards the end of the meeting when Elijah was praying, it really mm. just like popped up. It really looked like it came oh. out of the picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and he was talking, and then he started talking about it burning. Oh, yes. Like the, fi- the fire. The fire, yes. So, I think this is the stages, and this is the... This, the what is this? Carrying or cutting? Cutting. Cutting, cutting okay. Yeah. okay. And then, so, it's weird because this part's kind of weird. Mm. So, they're taking coal sponges, you know, they're taking coal sponges and go, coming over here to this eagle and coal sponges means yeah. like fire coal. Yeah, like coal, coal like coal, and right? like so, okay. coal okay. and bring it over to the eagle, this big eagle uh-huh. with a torch, and they're uh-huh. igniting them and washing away the sin. It's the same, okay. And then uh, it drowns out these little, I don't know, little sin figures. Mm. And then they come over here to this like shower thing, and ah. they f- and the sin figures fall through the then being cleans away okay yeah. mm. and then they go down the steps to kind of like it's kind of like a post office i guess hmm. okay. and they're walking into tubes and tubes like tubes you'd send out down, down places oh uh, yeah huh. and coming out that were and interesting then, yeah and then coming out and this is the hand of god i'm pretty sure okay and i saw some of the the picture was kind of moving Mm-hmm. So they were all kind of rotating, mm. and so this part is so when I saw these words, they can't kind of came out after I drew the picture. Yeah, what is this? trusting? Trust, yes, mm. trusting, and uh, listening. So the, okay. So the figures obeying. Okay. The figures would come out. These little human figures. Yeah. Came out and immediately when they touched this hand. Mm. They immediately illuminated. Illuminated, and it become a light. On, on. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Oh, you just described the whole process, how God's working the human being. I guess <laughs> that was humankind. Oh, that's a good theology there. <laughs> 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 you see, 
Yeah, that's a vivid example of all, all things this morning we talk about, it, right? That's interesting how God can make that real to you, even through so, yeah. so your vision, right? So it was weird. I was feeling so real, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Can you I was that? feeling uh huh that I don't know why, but like people were starting to look at me uh -huh. and like like stone like staring at me like where. During the meeting the time? Uh -huh. No, uh -huh. yeah, during the meeting. Uh -huh. I don't think they were doing it on purpose. Yeah. But it made me feel like um, I had to share something. And sure, yeah. This is something I really am uncomfortable with sharing, but I feel like I should share it. Sure, it yeah. Thing. You started I, the practice searching. I things. Yeah. struggle a lot with pride. You do? And uh, wanting okay. to be in charge and people to listen to me. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's kind of a selfish pride, yeah. and uh, I wanted to know if you could pray for me about that. Yeah, me. let's pray right now. So be aware of those things is the first step, right? So yeah, it's to do with the self-image. You know, you can you can build a solid relationship with anyone, especially your your parents, your your siblings, right? Your your friends or people you respect want to spend time with. Um, with a healthy balance, we have to pray for that you found that balance, okay? So it's nothing wrong to call them to a, to the intention because you have needs, and right? So, but it would be um, um, unproductive to see that and discomforting uh, to disconcerting to people you associate with uh, if we become a little bit um, out of contest, making sense to you, you know? So. Well, that's also a natural process. You just grow up to be a, become aware of being a child, being more grow up, responsible, aware of the relationship, a bigger picture, right? So, so don't blame yourself too much as you grow, but it can be a drastic and unsettling growth. So I just pray that you found a settlement in that process rather than blame yourself, always examine yourself, okay? Found a balance in that. Two balances, practice relationship, how to communicate, the inner balance as well, you know, so if you f nobody can do 100%, you feel your level of being doing better, like today you're doing is wonderful, you know, so you're doing the right manner, right timing, with the right temperament, even you must be prayer for you. Who is that? Who is that? Well, that must be Elaine, so. Where's Justin? Justin is gone? He's not here. Okay, just call him uh, uh, here, so. Hey, Justin. Mm -hmm. Man, you just missed the whole best part of the whole meeting. <laughs> Lay hands on him, bro. Yeah. I want to tell you anything. I want to pray for it for him. Yeah. Close your eyes. Yeah. As the Lord leads you to pray for him. So I know you believe the move the Holy Spirit, the guidance, the Holy Spirit. But your parents living, moving down fashion all the time. You know, so you know strength. But listen, this gifts is not a character. Gifts doesn't equivalent wisdom. Gifts attain the knowledge of uh, inside, applied, experienced, become a real wisdom. What is between smartness and wisdom? Being smart, try to be smart, is a is a person oftentimes detrimental to attain that wisdom. Am I right? So, if you just want to know, want to show his no, he is a competitive game. You know. But wisdom, people wise, they want to say, okay, I learned something good, learned some wife, excellent. I want to apply the benefit of my inner man, my, my character, right? So you build on that. Now, interesting enough, you in God's economy, and normally happen to life as well, when you become wise, you're more than smart. People actually more respect you because they don't feel diminished by your wisdom, you know, they don't feel competitive about it, you know, they, they actually like to be your friend, they like to really listen to you, honor you, like your dad, your mom to me, and you know, don't, don't try to be <laughs> over example, you know, but that's a living example for you, am I? So, why you listen to me, why you talk to me, because your parents humble themselves and, and wise enough to receive counsel, 
that was in your life. And then, you know, you know, that's beautiful. I mean, we respect each other. I hope we don't <laughs> do anything outside God's will and unbecoming. You do the same, you see, everything change. I will tell you, you know, man, your relation with your parents will totally change. And you will be a natural leader example for, for your young, 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 young brothers. That's right, you have uh, <laughs> beside the killer all young brothers, am right? Because they won't listen to you. I mean, right now they are too small, they don't know better. But listen, with you collaborating, uh, collaborating with your parents, your sister, you build a different environment, am right? You become a different example, am right? You know? Well, one week doesn't make a difference. So one month, for the one month. My mother says, what about one year? My one year later, you change, right? So, I mean, then one year, you get cut some slack for them, right? So, you change until you're 12, right? So, they change, they can change at nine. That's pretty good, you know? So, I'm just talking. So then, but the beauty of it is that after those changes happen, your relation with everybody is totally different. You know, you don't have to argue, you don't have to be bitter, upset, or competing, you know, with them for anything. I also pray the, the competitiveness be done away. I don't know who that gave you to that in your life. You know, so rather rejoice and, 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 uh, and appreciate and uh, flourish in the blessing God already gave to you. Be content, learn to be content. Amen, hallelujah. You give opportunity to be confident and be responsible to charge. God give opportunity. Don't, see, don't, don't be strong and confident in things you do. But to have a competitive, you know, have a jealousy, have a unhealthy attitudes to be inspired to do things. That's not right, you know, so. No, I want to, my excellence to grow in a godly way, in a, in a healthy way, in a, even in a sacrificial way, am I? So I know you love people. you always the first one wrong to your parents to protect them, to, to comfort them. There is a great heart of love and compassion towards you, uh, uh, inside of you, I'm sorry. And you just need to let that to shine in a wise way, am I? In a balanced way, so go ahead. Father, I thank you for Caden. Lord, the heart that you have given him. Lord, the insight that you've even given him at a young age. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I pray, though, that he would not build his faith upon the revelation. Pray you against the spirit of fear. There's a spirit of fear. Oh, yeah. Can I do that? Do, do, you, do you suffer the spirit of fear a little bit? Sometimes the night cannot sleep because certain torment thoughts, and I worry about the future, worry about this. Is it, is it terrifying dreams, or like a nightmare to you? Okay, uh, can you agree with me? Let's, let's down with the spirit of fear, amen, hallelujah. You will not have those dreams anymore. Do you know that? You have a beautiful dream. You will sing songs, praise God, and, and uh, delight you know, in good relationships that uh, the dream will, will give you give you content to, 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 to meditate on, am I? Hallelujah. You want beautiful friends, beautiful relations in your life, they're going to show up in your dream life. Amen? Hallelujah. You know, so the devil torment us and cast a fear to say, like, oh, my relation is broken and I can't do, I don't do right. Maybe you don't accuse you, am I? So, and then, 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 Restrain you are not able to be healthily, productively develop relationships because you have a fear uh, or, or, or doubt. What is the word? Other motive, other ways. Can we done away with that? Amen. Whoever harmed you in your life, whoever destroyed the trust in relationship, disappointed you. Okay. Uh, can you forgive them? Amen. Let's real forgive them. Okay. Yeah. So one by one in your heart, and if there's one particular incident, I don't know what happened to traumatize you, because uh, uh, some uh, respectful figure you, you think they supposed to write, and uh, they disappoint you. I don't think that's your father. 
you have to use your trust in the sense or disregard your trust. Amen. Hallelujah. And your reasons to your work kind turn out they they, they may be intentionally or unintentionally not harm to you. And uh, can you forgive that person? Forgive forget that episode. Or you can forget about it. You know. Not that you forget from memory, but that intensity, that emotional response, that uh, that uh, unhealthy mindset. It said, you know, because that person lost my trust, I will not trust anybody. And a kind of unhealthy deduction, right? So, one person doesn't represent all humanity, especially not the ones close to you, your parents, your siblings, uh, wonderful people, you know. So. Making sense to you, so, so, I uh, just pray for that right now be dissolved in your heart, that bitter, um, woundedness, and therefore forgiveness, and then self, self will because nobody can trust that I have got God control my own destiny. I don't have to make my own decision. Those kind of things, amen. No, you don't have to. I'm not talking about that you cannot do it. That I'm talking about with the right way. To grow in counsel, wisdom, and then do it. Am I making sense to you? Let that person be forgiving, because that have a lot of hindrance to you to be healed and be freed and be yourself. You know, joyful, have confidence. Amen. And then you able to form relationships with a great liberty <laughs> and effectiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So I pray that spirit of fear and our forgiveness be done away with you. And I want to, I know you aspire to be a leadership, to be a leader, to guide and exemplify and teach God's ways. And I commit you to that. Do you agree with that? Amen. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God, again, balance, patience, time, timing, and rise. So, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. No real leadership come from competition. That's worldly way. It's often cause harm to people, eventually to ourselves. You know, leadership is it is people need you. People see something God, you know, respectful, honorable in your life. They turn to you for those things. Amen. Hallelujah. So I pray your ideal leadership. The receiver bands, others, exercise the leadership yourself, being a, a bigger sibling, whatever you know, and, uh, and, and uh, captain the team. Maybe who knows what they're going to do. I mean, you will not use those false ways or unproductive ways to exercise and receive leadership. I'm making sense to you. Hallelujah. That's a struggle for you. That's not pride, it's just you don't have an unhealthy idea. And a healthy personality or in your life exercise that to you. Thank you, Father. So pray that be dissolved. You'll learn godly leadership. God is a shepherdship, right? So care for people and uh, be responsible steward for people's life. That's godly leadership. Don't or take things, uh, you know, like like. It's a neighbor dog, you know. Don't don't think you can do something about training the next dog. So therefore, I want you to apply wisdom and prudence in that as well. So the ones God give to you, God give you response. Take care of that. Be faithful with that. Learn solidly, grow in that, and do a good job in that. In the season, go ahead and start, brother. Yes, come in and pray. Yeah, we do, Lord. We do, we do to pray, Lord, for power, love, sound mind. Father, that, that your love would inform Caden, would inform his life, that your heart for him as his father, mm. as his true father, Hallelujah. Lord, Hallelujah. as the one who, who created him, somebody. Lord, you saw his life even before uh, he was conceived, Lord. You knew mm. who, who your son Caden was. Mm. And Lord, I pray that you would call out, mm. Lord, that you would call out that which you have purposed in him, Lord, and that he would remain steadfast, faithful to your purposes, mm -hmm. to your plan, to you, 
Mm. Lord, and that the gifts you've given him, the wisdom, the insight, the revelation that you give him would always be secondary to his relationship with you and how you're instructing and how you're teaching him. Mm. And, and Lord, I pray that the words of his mouth would even be seasoned with the grace of his Father, mm. with the wisdom of his Father, with the instruction of his Father. Lord, that, that he would be one who continues to be established in your truth, who continues to be grounded in your truth and rooted in your truth, who continues to walk in your truth, Lord, but let it truly be in his mind uh, something that he carries with great humility, knowing that it is not something to, to puff himself up or to think highly of himself, but something to offer as a, as a gift from his heavenly Father to those around him. Mm -hmm. and, and Lord, may you continue to truly do uh, the work of, uh, of growth and maturity in his life, Lord. And, and I say thank you, Lord, for a son who is faithful, mm -hmm. a son who is kind and compassionate, a son who, uh, even at his young age, seeks things uh, that most wouldn't dare. And Lord, I pray that you would not give him any fear. Lord, let him not be despised because of his youth, but let him stand firmly and fixed in the purposes of his heavenly Father in Jesus' name. Jesus. Yeah. I pray you hear God what he wants you to do. And you will agree the purpose of your your life in him. Okay, so well thank you for sharing the vision with me.